Alright, so I wanted to finish up this section just by doing uh, one full example of where we're looking at a, an exact differential equation that's not exact until you find an integrating factor. Okay, so let's try an example here. Oops, I always seem to do that. My chair is all squeaky. Uh, 3xy plus y squared plus x squared plus xy uh, y prime equals zero. Okay, so this is your m and this is your n. And of course we want to check that is, does m sub y equal n sub x? m sub y it looks like is 3x plus 2y. n sub x is 2x plus y. Uh, hmm. Nope, that doesn't look like they're the same. Uh, no way. Okay, so now the question, is there a mu? So that mu times m plus mu times n y prime equals zero is exact. And so in this case I would tell you try mu as a function of y alone. And the reason I would tell you what the integrating factor might be is because um, otherwise it would just take you way too long to try to check all the different cases that may be there may be. Um, oops, and I just made an error. That's supposed to be an x alone. We would have caught it at some point, but don't want to get there. Okay. Very good. So uh, let's continue then. So um, therefore, mu sub or mu times m, which is I'll go ahead and write it down. Three x. Whoops. Darn it. Three x plus three y plus y squared. Right. Uh, partial with respect to y is equal to uh, mu times x squared plus xy sub x. Okay, and remember now that mu is a function of x alone. So mu sub y would be our first thing, so that would be a 0 plus mu times the derivative of this with respect to x. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, with respect to y, which we've already computed. That was 3x plus 2y. Okay, so that's equal to uh, mu sub x is just d mu over dx times x squared plus xy plus uh, mu times the derivative of that with respect to x, which we also computed was 2x plus y. Now bring this over to the other side and do some subtraction and we get that mu times, let's see, 3x minus 2x would leave us with an x, 2y minus y would leave us with a y, and on this side we have uh, d mu over dx, I'll go ahead and factor out the x, it's x times x plus y. Good. Now what are we going to do? I think we can divide both sides, right? And so we have mu times uh, x plus y divided by x times x plus y. You saw that coming, didn't you? It's d mu over dx. Good. x plus y is cancel. And so what we have then is, uh, let's see, 1 over x dx, bring over the mu, 1 over mu d mu, right? And so uh, integrating both sides, we get natural log of x equals natural log of mu. Now, um, just like the integrating factor before, we don't need a plus c uh, because we just need one representative of this class, say. Okay, so then the final step would be to exponentiate both sides, and we see that mu is equal to x. So let's see if that was right. Um, so what's happening is that we said uh, let's go back to, oops, sorry about that. Let's go back to this original. Maybe we'll slide it sideways. Um, where, did, where did we start? Here's where we started. So what we're saying is, is if I multiply this by x and if I multiply that by x, the equation becomes exact. Let's see if that's true. So just to check, um, that is 
x times 3xy plus y squared plus x times x squared plus xy. y prime equals 0 is uh, 3x squared y plus xy squared plus x cubed plus x squared y. y prime. Good. And now m sub y is equal to 3x squared plus uh, 2xy. And n sub x is equal to 3x squared plus 2xy. Yay! Good. All right. Uh, so now the equation is exact, and now we can solve for our um, function f. So then uh, f is going to be the integral of m dx, right? And so it's going to be the integral of 3x squared y plus xy squared uh, dx, which looks like x cubed y plus uh, 1 half x squared y squared plus some unknown function of y. Okay, and uh, we can go back and uh, say that f is also equal to n dy and do a comparison. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, x cubed plus x squared y dy. So that would be x cubed y plus uh, 1 half x squared y squared plus h of x. Good. And then if we compare the two functions, I think we see that the solution is... Uh, x cubed y plus one half x squared y squared equals c. All right, so that took only about seven minutes for one problem, <laughs> and I kind of gave you the hint about what the what the integrating factor should be. Okay, so this is the kind of thing to expect. So by that I mean um, I would give you a, an equation that's not exact. And I would give you a hint. Oop, let's see if I can. Why, why isn't that coming down? I don't know why that's not coming down. Okay. Anyway, this is where we started. And I would say uh, try mu as a function of x alone. And so then you would start here to try to find mu first. And then once you found mu, like we did here, then you would go. You don't have to do the check, but it is nice to do the check to make sure that you're doing something right here. You want to. You don't want to. Uh, come down here and try to find f and realize that you did some algebra incorrectly in the previous slide. Okay, so then uh, finally we, we were able to find our function f and then set it equal to c, and that gives us our general, general solution. There it is. Okay, so the book has lots of extra practice problems for that, and uh, we're done with chapter 2. So uh, after this, we'll, I guess we'll have an exam uh, over chapters 1 and 2. Uh, more on that later though. For now, uh, just take a look at the uh, exact equations. See you later.